everybody, this is Dave with Spinnerack Studios and welcome to the channel and hope you guys are doing well. So it is the month of October and all of the Spinneracks have been changed out uh, and now have horror Halloween related comic books. And uh, this is my first uh, video of the season and it's going to be a cover challenge. Yes, Alan over at uh, Comic Collector Geek uh, is having a challenge to uh, show 10 which related covers and uh, I will put a link to uh, Alan's video below in the description of this video but to start off with we've got a Harvey comic book and this is issue number 27 of Tough Ghosts starring Spooky and here you can see that uh, Spooky has got himself into some trouble with some witches next up um, is a, uh, a going to be a copy of Detective Comics 336. Now, you, ordinarily, you wouldn't think of Detective Comics as uh, having witches in it, but in this case, this is a pretty cool cover and one of my favorites. Uh, here is you, you can kind of see that first of all, Batman uh, is sporting some uh, straw coming out of him like a scarecrow, and uh, there's a witch there. Uh, Silhouetted up against the moon, and uh, there's Robin uh, trying to bring her down, uh, doing his best impression of uh, Wonder Woman, it appears, with the lasso. But anyway, um, this has always been kind of one of my favorite uh, books. Okay, next up we're going to move to uh, Archie's Madhouse. This is issue number 43, and uh, there are a couple uh, witches, and once again there's a moon behind them. Okay, now moving to a, a title that's um, pretty uh, descriptive. Uh, this is issue number four of The Witching Hour. And uh, I, just, I just love the imagery of the witch there. Just the coloring and the layout of the cover. Really a, a great cover. Okay, moving uh, more towards uh, whimsical. Um, here is Walt Disney's uh, Donald Duck getting the earful evidently from a witch with Huey, Dewey, and Louie uh, <laughs> enjoying it. And by the way, I, I ordinarily don't, uh, I try to show different books than uh, the person who uh, presented the challenge, but I do, I, I believe I do have a couple uh, copies of books that uh, Alan showed, but uh, they are my favorite too. And this this Walt Disney one, I don't recall, it may have been one he showed. Okay, here we have Wendy the Good Little Witch. And here we have, I think Alan did show this one, uh, this is uh, Black Cat Mystery number 38. And um, pretty, uh, pretty well-known cover, uh, the uh, choking cover. Great imagery in that one. And then moving back to uh, to Wendy, uh, here we have uh, <laughs> Casper uh, shielding uh, Wendy from the rain. But we got a, a witch over here off to the side. And uh, back to another uh, witching hour. This is, uh, well, I'm not sure which issue it is. I don't, oh, there it is, uh, issue number 19, pardon me. And uh, once again, you can kind of see a, a witch uh, crawling around the side of the uh, house there. Just great imagery again. And then I'm finally going to end with uh, Lois Lane, uh, number one. And... Uh, you know, it's interesting, uh, just great imagery. I, I love uh, the shot of Lois there dressed up as a witch with, you know, the riding on her broom with the, the uh, moon in the background. So the cover date, let me pull this off just for a second. Um, it's interesting, it's April. Now, usually, of course, uh, these books would have been on the stand two or three months before that, but uh, even uh, taking that into account, um, uh, this... Uh, 
book was would have been on the stands well outside of Halloween, so it is kind of interesting that they would start off with a um, kind of a witch uh, Halloween themed uh, book. But one of the better covers, I think, in uh, Lois Lane, and a great cover to start off with uh, your issue number one. All right, well, Alan, now that is uh, my challenge books, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Take care.